This is the cylinder block of a 1942 John Deere B. It came to us for a rebuild after sitting for who knows how many years with water in the cylinders. We're planning to do some machine work for our customer to restore it, but the first step is to get it cleaned up and inspected. We tried for a good amount of time to remove the head studs, but even with heat, penetrating oil, and the Milwaukee impact, most wouldn't budge. We covered this in more detail on the video that's live on our YouTube channel, so be sure to check it out. We'll need the studs removed before we do machining, but for now we'll move forward with baking the block so that we can glass bead it. After glass beading the block, it looks like a new casting, and the next step in the process is to magnaflex the block to check for any cracks so that we know the block can be rebuilt. The block is magnetized with a magnetic yoke, and magnetic particles are dusted over the block. If there are any defects in the block, the particles will be drawn to the flaw and be visible with the naked eye. I checked over the block thoroughly, but didn't see anything of concern, so we're going to go ahead and order some sleeves. We'll be installing flanged sleeves in these cylinders, so we'll get a measurement of the current ID and length, and decide on a suitable wall thickness for the sleeve. Be sure to like and follow for more of this process. 